What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create lower thirds in After Effects. So the first thing I'm going to do is zoom in to the bottom left, because that's where I'm going to have my lower third placed. Then I'm going to head over to the rectangle tool up here, and I'm going to have a fill of white, and I'm just going to left click and draw out this box like so. Now I'm going to come back to the move tool and just position this down here. Now you'll see the anchor point is up here. Now it's important to put this down to the center of this box. The reason for that is if we do any rotating, then it'll be directly from the center of the box, not from the center of the screen. So press Y on your keyboard, alternatively come up to this button right here, and then drag this into the center of the box. You'll see it'll snap into place like that as long as you have snapping checked. So this part is now complete. The next thing I'm going to do is head back to the rectangle tool. I'm going to add a fill and I'm going to add a cyan. I'm going to select OK. This time I'm only going to be dragging out like a little strip like this. Then I'm going to move this and I'm going to position this to the end like that. Now I'm going to come down to my timeline and rename this because it will be useful. So I'm going to call this box 1 and I'm going to call this strip 1. So yes, that does mean we will be creating more and I'm just going to press Control C, Control V to duplicate them in and I'm going to drag this down like so. Now for this one, I am going to be shortening it a bit more. So the big white box here, I'm going to bring it smaller first and then I'm going to position this to the end and match it up here. Then I'm going to drag this one back and this is going to be going at the end of this white strip. So we basically have the design of what this will look like so far. The next thing I'm going to do is add in my text. So the first one right here on the top one, I'm going to do, for example, follow me on Twitter. I'm going to press control A, come over here to the characters and size this down so it fits in the box. Good. Then I'm going to position this here and I'm going to bring this to the center like that. Now you'll also see the anchor point for the text is down here. We want it in the center of the box. So press Y on your keyboard again and bring it to the center like so. Now if we come back to the move tool, we can position it in the center like that. Now it also did move again, I think. So let's go fix that. Y on our keyboard, move this to the center like that. Now I'm also going to create more text down here. And this is where the Twitter handle is going to be. So at casual savage. Again, size it down so it fits in this box, like so. And then I'm going to make sure it's already centered. Then uh, anchor point again we need to change. So right in the center of the text we want it. That's the mistake I made last time. So I'm going to keep it there. And I can also size this up a bit more. So that's how it is currently looking. And if you haven't guessed already, the first thing I'm going to have come in is the follow me on Twitter. Then about a three keyframe delay, Casual Savage will also come in. So the strip one we'll be starting with. The reason for this is because it's the most simplest to do. So I'm going to press P on my keyboard to bring up the position. And we are going to be keyframing. So toggle the, ad, uh, the keyframe here. And you will see um, here are the seconds. So at one second is where I want this white or this uh, blue strip to come on screen. So. To do that, I'm going to press this button to lay down a keyframe here. And on the very first keyframe, I'm going to drag this off to the side this way. Now you'll see the animation we're going to get. It's going to come in like that. Now I'm also going to come across three keyframes. So one, two, and three. Now this is where I want the box with follow me on Twitter to be coming in. So I'm going to minimize the position on this. I'm going to come to the box one. And this time I will be coming to position as well. So I'm going to press P on my keyboard. And this will be coming from this box right here, the blue strip. So the way I'm going to do that, I'm going to first of all position it to this side. I'm going to toggle the animation so it's right here. I'm going to come down and I'm going to select. So the next thing I'm going to do is come to scale and toggle the animation. Uncheck this link here. And then with the one here, just bring it in like so. Now it only has to be the same size as the strip because it's going to be hiding behind it. So I'm going to drag this and I'm going to put this behind the strip like so. So it's not even visible. Then I'm going to come across to two seconds on my timeline here. 
and I'm simply going to put this back to the default. So I'm going to spread it out and I'm going to be dragging it to the side. Now you'll see this is what we currently have and there is going to be an error. First of all, if you haven't noticed, the white strip is already up. That shouldn't be there. So if I just play it through, that's what it's going to give us. So the way we fix this white strip uh, problem or the, yeah, the white strip problem, it is under as box one. And we want this to start right on this keyframe here, or we want it to be shown right on the keyframe. So I'm gonna to come to the keyframe, then all I'm gonna do is press FN and the open bracket on my keyboard. Now you'll see that has trimmed everything out to the part where the keyframe was. So if I now play this through, this is what I'll be getting. So I'm gonna play it through, it's gonna come in, and just like that. And it's delayed quite a lot, so I will be shortening that as well. So I'm gonna left click highlight these keyframes and just bring them back here, and then play it through, all nice and smooth like that. And of course the final thing is the text, because the text will be on screen the entire time. We need to animate that as well. So kind of like what we just done to the uh, strips and the box, we're gonna be doing the exact same thing. So first of all, I will be doing the position, and then I'm going to be dragging this off to the side here. Then I'm going to come down. I forgot the shortcut for scale and I don't think it is S. Oh, it is S. Okay. I've got the thing back now. Um, I'm going to unlink this and the first one here, I'm going to size it down again, just small enough so we can fit it in this blue box here. So I've laid down the keyframe here. However, it's in the wrong position. What I want to do is put this keyframe right here. So I'm going to drag this one back to here and then I'm going to drag this to two seconds and then this is where I want the text to be back to normal and I'm going to put this back to 100. Then I need to head back to the position tab and this time we'll be animating it. So the first time it will be here in position then it's going to be expanding out like so at two seconds but it's going to be dragged off to the left. So I'm going to use the position and drag this here. So now if I play this through, this is what we currently have. It's going to come in and that's going to be shown like that. Pretty clean. Now again, um, the text will already be on screen the entire time because we haven't trimmed it down. So again, I'm going to come to the part where it starts, which is roughly here. And I'm going to press FN and the open bracket to trim it down. So it's in position with strip one and box one. And the next thing is box two and strip two and then the casual savage text. So this is all happening here at number one. So now I'm going to be doing the exact same thing to box two. So first of all, okay, so I decided to fast forward through this part instead of telling you step by step. The reason for that is because it's going to be the exact same steps I just showed you, except for this time on the Twitter handle. So I thought it would just waste time. So I'll fast forward it and we'll move on to the next part. Now, the final thing I recommend you adding is motion blur. So come here and just check all the motion blur boxes here. And then also come here and select enable motion blur. Now you'll see there's going to be some motion blur to the boxes and the text. So you can see it gives more of a blurred look as if it is moving in speed, just like that. And then you basically do the complete opposite to what you've just done to close it out. So it's pretty lengthy as it is. So I will only be doing this for the top one, but you will get the idea. So for firstly, um, let's see. So what I first want to take away is the white box along with the text. Then the blue line will go off as well. So it all gets completed at uh, five seconds. So let's say we keep it on till about seven seconds. This is where I now start the next animation. So I'm gonna head over to position. I'm first of all going to lay down a keyframe and I'm gonna bring this back just a little bit like so. Now the position here, I'm gonna be dragging it to the right like that. Then I'm gonna press S on my keyboard. So we're gonna be working with the scale. So right here is where I want it to be smaller. So I'm going to come over to this one here and just bring it down. And one thing I forgot to do is come back a few frames and set this back to the default it was at. So you'll see this is what we currently have. It's going to come in. Everything's going to come in 
And then to close out of it, it's going to expand into there. And then the final thing we need to do, well, actually what we need to do first is also do the exact same thing to the text. Now I say do the text first because it's going to be more simple. So I'm going to come to the part where this starts animating, which is right there. First thing I will be doing is the position. So I'm going to press P on my keyboard. Um, come back a few frames, like here, lay down a keyframe, come back a few frames again when it starts moving, which is there. And I'm simply going to position this on line with that box. Now the next thing, press S on my keyboard, come back a few frames when the text is completely normal, which is right there. And here I'll be laying down the keyframe, coming across a few frames, and this is where it's going to be scaled down, so it is completely small like that. And at this point, so I'm going to select it, press FN close bracket. So you'll see this is what we currently have. It's going to be like this, close into there, and you'll see that's where it needs to get off screen. Now I'm actually going to put the following on Twitter below the strip so you'll see it's now not visible. So that way it's going to literally go into that strip and hide. And of course, the final thing is to move this box right here off the screen, just with position, so it's pretty simple this time. I'm going to come back to where this lands in, here, actually just there. I'm going to lay down a keyframe, I'm going to come across a little bit, and I'm going to drag this one off to the side back here. So, this is what we have just done, I'm going to play it through. So it's going to slide in with the blue and the white's going to slide in. Follow me on Twitter. Same again, except with the Twitter handle. And then that's how it's all going to end. But that's how you create a lower third in After Effects. You can see it is time consuming, but you can be creative and make it your own way. But that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully this has been useful for you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.